To a lot of city kids, milk, meat and wool are just things you find on a supermarket shelf. Commodities to be purchased or perhaps shoplifted and then sold off illegally on the black market economy. What better place to set them straight than my old mate Tony Scott's High Country Sheep Station. G'day Tony, good to see you again mate. You too Russ. Yeah, how you been? Good. Yeah, got a, a few head of sheep that need doing? Yeah, got a shear a few, yeah. Yeah, okay, uh, want a hand? I'd love a hand. Yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, and uh, I won't pull the wool over your eyes. <laughs> Scotty's a top bloke and always up for a laugh. We were set for some good times. There's no doubt about it. Aussies believe in helping each other out. Tony had a big mob to get through and I was happy to lend him a hand. Of course, you put two red-blooded Aussie blokes side by side in a shearing shed and it doesn't take long before a bit of friendly competition gets underway. I was a little scratchy at first but soon got into the swing of things. Shearing sheep is something you never forget. The whir of the clippers, the smell of the boards, the back-breaking pride in a job well done. I'll tell you what, it's a sheer delight. And it wasn't long before we both had our first sheep shawl. It was a pretty tight finish, but let's just call it a dead heat. All Aussie Adventures, pack up your swag, let's go. All Aussie Adventures, time to hear.